Okay class, today we are going to learn about the Atlantic City Line. A representative from New Jersey Transit will enter our classroom in a moment. Please respond with empathy and nice words as she arrives. Hi, I am Tasha, your guest speaker from New Jersey Transit in the Meadowlands. I will be your representative today. Does anyone have any questions before we begin learning on the Atlantic City Line? What are the stations along the Atlantic City Line actually? Here they are, Philadelphia, Pensacon, Cherry Hill, Lindenwald, Berlin usually but closed 51 years ago but you were all not born yet, Atco, Hamonton, Egg Harbor City, Absecon, and Atlantic City. Why did Berlin close and Lindenwald open in 1969? Well Matthew, that answers your question. The Berlin Railroad Station was closed in 1969 due to declining passenger numbers. Therefore, Lindenwald took Berlin's place that year. What about Pensorkin Transit Center? How did it open in 2013 instead of the 20th century era? Quincy, I'll tell you why. The station cost $39.747 million, of which $39.104 million was funded by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. After two years of construction, the Pensacon Transit Center opened on October 14, 2013. Is Philadelphia the main Atlantic City Line terminus or Atlantic City? Both. The Atlantic City Line train begins in Philadelphia via 30th Street Station where Amtrak is located below the SEPTA commuter rail line and ends in Atlantic City via the rail terminal. How many stations are in the Atlantic City Line? There are nine stations in the Atlantic City Line. What Atlantic City Line train numbers begin with? Sometimes they begin with a 4 and a 5 but all train numbers begin with a 4 and a 6. Which cab cars lead the train from Philadelphia to Atlantic City? They usually have Comet 1 or 3 cab cars, but they usually get scrapped, but due to COVID-19, they are in service for TVCTA commuter rail service in 6 states as well as their coaches. The Comet 4 cab car usually leads it but the Comet 5 cab car leads it now. Is there an express train to Atlantic City? If so, tell us all about it. Heather, as all of you might know, the Atlantic City Express Service, or ACES, was an intercity train service offered by the Borgata, Caesars Atlantic City, and Harris Entertainment, operating from February 2009 until September 2011, which is two years. It was operated by New Jersey Transit under contract and funded by the Casino Reinvestment Development Authority. I don't think they renewed their contract, I believe they refused to do that, like Jessica in 2014, and five SNSD members three years after that. The train provided summer seasonal service between New York City and Atlantic City three days a week, operating along the Northeast Corridor and Atlantic City Line. The train was formally discontinued on March 9, 2012. Many of you all rode it, have you? I have no clue. I got on at New York City, where I live now. I was so lucky at first, but when service from there to Atlantic City ended, I felt so left out. Went there in July 2010 for my 4th of July celebration at the beach, it was a blast. But now I reside in Tuscaloosa, Alabama and I usually have stopovers whenever I fly there or ride the train there as of 2019. When I was a young girl. My mom took me on the Aces for my friend's birthday party at the boardwalk, her name is Prina Penguin, but now I meet with her on Facebook. I got on Ad Newark when we left for Atlantic City, I believe it's in February 2011. Anyone else rode the Atlantic City Express service? No. Let's continue on in the next section, which is service. Regularly scheduled service on the Atlantic City Line consists mainly of Xpen Central GP40 PH2B diesel locomotives pushing or pulling primarily a 3-4 to four car Comet train, although other rolling stock is also used on the line. When Amtrak had regular service on this line, power was provided by now-retired F40 PH locomotives, with a Metroliner cab car on the opposite end to provide push-pull operation. All trains run with the locomotive on the west end and the cab control car on the east end to facilitate boarding and reduce diesel noise and exhaust issues at the Atlantic City Terminal. Originally, a type of proof-of-payment fare collection was envisioned for the line to cut down on operating costs, 
Standard railway tickets were purchased from vending machines which then had to be validated prior to boarding, however, the system was never fully implemented and tickets were always collected normally on board by conductors like me, but I am on either the Morristown Essex or Montclair Boonton lines. In 2014, the line had around 1 million riders, which declined to 800,000 in 2016. Daily ridership is around 2,000 passengers. The next section in this New Jersey transit discussion is cross-honoring. Atlantic City Line train tickets are also honored on the 551 and 554 New Jersey transit bus lines for travel to and from railroad stations at all times. Customers using rail tickets to ride the 554 line must board and alight directly at or within one block of the Linden Road, Hamonton, Egg Harbor City, or Abzacon train stations, or at the Atlantic City bus terminal. Tickets for travel between Philadelphia and Atlantic City are honored on the 551 between the bus terminals in the two cities. You are all welcome to find the history and operations on the Wikipedia website. Also, the schedules and timetables are located on our website, www.njtransit.com. If you wish for a getaway, schedule a trip to Philadelphia so you can ride it. Well thank you Tasha for telling us all about the Atlantic City line. If you have any questions, feel free to ask her. What stop does the Atlantic City Express service make before heading to New York City and Atlantic City? Well Angela, the only stop that the Atlantic City Express service train makes is Newark Penn Station, where most of you watch trains at. My name is Mina Mongoose, and I have a question. Are all Atlantic City line stations wheelchair accessible? Of course they are wheelchair accessible, Mina. Are you planning to go to Atlantic City this year? When the coronavirus pandemic eases out, I can go to Atlantic City with my family and friends. Well I gotta go, the coronavirus pandemic is still ongoing, but duty calls on the montclair Boonton line to Montclair State University. So long, and Ms. Berman, so good to see you. Well, how many students do you have in your class? It's a maximum of between 10 and 15 students. Well. 15 is my max due to the pandemic, others are going virtual. Goodbye Ms. Berman. Goodbye Tasha. Class dismissed. Everybody enjoy the weekend. See you on Monday, but Tuesday is Tailslandian Gardens Real Estate's 19th birthday, so we have no class that day.